UVs. All right, now the wonderful process of UVs. Actually, UVs are very easy within Blender, and UVs are probably one of the artist's worst nightmares when it comes to the actual workflow. That being said, they're easy in Blender. So if you've had any kind of misdirection in other 3D applications about laying out UVs, this is a really nice program, no doubt about it. I use this, you know, I have 3D Studio Max, I have Maya, I have all those others, but I will always go back to Blender. Blender is my favorite when it comes to UVs, just because of the UVW unwrapping capabilities in it and how easy it is to mark seams. So let's look at this real quick. The first thing I'm going to do is rip apart the skull, but I want to be able to put it back together really easy. So here's what I do. I take all the objects and highlight them and go object, apply, location. Okay, so what happens here is for each item now, I have zeroed out the location. That means if I move this out, and if I want to move it back, I can just simply go in here and type zero, and it moves it back into precision, okay? So what I'm going to do is just kind of rip the skull apart so I can get at different parts of it. So the whole name of the game is Hide the Seam. In this case, I want the seam to be in the back of this. And we develop seams in order to lay these out flat. So a 3D object could never be laid out flat. It needs to be in like two or three different parts sometimes. Or have a seam in there that when laid out flat, it uh, naturally unfolds. And you can think about this when um, you pelt, and I, I've never pelted an animal, but I would say if, if you were to take the skin off an animal and lay it out flat, like a bearskin rug, that's, that's exactly how it works. A bear is a three-dimensional object and, uh, or a mammal, and all of a sudden you're taking it and unwrapping it into a bearskin rug as morbid as that sounds. Okay, so in this case, if I put a seam here, it's hidden. And this will be able to unwrap, and this will be able to unwrap, and they'll be both laid out flat. I'm gonna demonstrate this very quickly on this item. So I'm gonna first mark my seam, and then right click here to split area and then choose UV image editor. Now, I don't really care what background I have here, but here's the navigation of this thing. Control middle mouse button allows you to zoom. Control or shift middle mouse button allows you to pan. So shift middle mouse button, control middle mouse button. All right, to see this, how it works, I'm just going to go into edit mode, hit A to highlight the entire piece, and then U on the keyboard to unwrap. Okay, and that's how it works. It unwraps it. Now, if it didn't have that seam in there, it would have never been able to calculate both sides like that. It would have just been one solid chunk of matter, and I think... Actually, it would have failed quite miserably. Here's the navigation of this thing. So if you go over the top of it, click one little UV, hit L on the keyboard. It highlights one shell. These are called shells. Hold Shift, then L allows you to highlight two. G on the keyboard allows you to move it around. S allows you to scale it. And R allows you to rotate it. All right, so that's UVs. Uh, let's develop some more here. Now, for the rest of these parts, I'm just marking the seam. I'm not unwrapping them because I'm going to unwrap them all at once. And then I'm going to choose which shells to enlarge based upon detail. 
Okay, in this case, again, I'm trying to hide that seam. A little tip here, you should probably turn the limited selection off because that way you're not highlighting edges on the other side of the mesh. And I'm holding Alt and Shift here. Again, mark seam. Again, if you don't know my workflow and stuff like that with students, I, I don't rely on a lot of hotkeys. I like showing students the actual menu structure and let them develop the hotkeys themselves. So you're always going to see me go over here and hit mark seam. So that's a teacher thing. Sorry, get over it. Now, that being said, how do we unwrap this skull? Well, traditionally on a face, we develop this seam in the front. Okay. Just like that. And I'll mark that seam. But then it gets kind of muddied with a skull because the skull's more hard. So on a face, we would just develop that seam all the way to the chin. Here, we're going to have to do some special stuff around this this area right here. Again, I don't like to have too many seams on the front of the model at all. So I'm going to try to get as many seams as I can on the back of the model where nobody's going to see them. So I'm going to try to find this natural unwrap situation here. In this case, I'm going to put a seam right there. And that's going to dead end at the front of the skull. Whoops. And then mark that seam. So let's see what that looks like first. And we could test this out just by hitting A, U to unwrap. And let's see if any parts are overlapping itself. So I'm just holding Shift, middle mouse button. And in this case, no, in fact, oh, yep, just a little bit right here. So you see that the overlapping begins here. Now, I don't know what here is. I can click here, but it doesn't actually show on the other side. There's this nifty little area over here that allows you to change that. So if you click this button and re-highlight your area, you can now click this and it'll show you exactly where that's at over here. Okay, so maybe this area could be calculated a little bit differently. Here's how you clear a seam. Let's take the seam, and I'm just holding shift. Let's take this seam and clear it, and let's try it a different way. Let's take it around the top here. Just like that. And I'm also thinking that it's going to be just like this. Okay, so let's try that. Again, mark seam. Let's test it out. A to highlight, U to unwrap. And unwrap is one of those things that is located right there, so that is one hotkey that I do use. Okay, so in this case, a little bit better results. Um, still having a little bit of issue with the, the jaw area. So let's kind of look at this. Maybe this is a seam. In this case, that would make a great seam. So let's take this seam, put it in here, and mark it. Unwrap. Then finally, we're getting 
a lot better results. In this case, I could probably lose these seams right here. Okay, and that is right here. So I'm gonna clear these seams out. Just like that. Look back at it, see if there's anything overlapping, and there is none. I had to break the shell apart in a couple areas. So in this area, we have what? We have two shells. And is there any reason for it? Okay. Now I'm doing this on purpose so you could really see my kind of method or madness behind putting seams in different areas. So I hope you realize that. Take this edge and if I clear it, I'll probably only get two seams out of them or two shells out of the mix. In this case, I have a good unwrapped surface here and then I have another shell up here. But I eliminated a lot of seams there. Okay, so now that we have everything unwrapped, in the next video we put everything back together and we learn about resolution when it comes to UVs.